I'm Rosie Pope, founder of Rosie Pope Maternity and Mom Prep. I'm very pleased to be able to introduce you to Andrea Orbeck, a very good friend of mine and fitness trainer extraordinaire. She's going to be helping us with some fitness techniques in order to avoid bad back during pregnancy. And it's brilliant. Hi, welcome to Mom Prep. I'm Andrea Orbeck, celebrity fitness trainer and pregnancy fitness expert. Today we're going to talk about some of the inevitable changes that happen when your belly and boobs increase in size and weight. It can place undue stress on your upper and lower spine, causing postural changes and back pain. With me today, I have Allison. She's my beautiful pregnancy model. She's in her later second trimester or 23rd week. She's going to help demonstrate some of the most effective and efficient exercises you can do to stay strong in your upper and lower back and prevent injury and pain later in your trimesters. It's also going to come in handy when you need that strength after the baby's born. The first exercise is a deadlift. Here's the setup. You want to make sure your shoulders are strong and your lower back has a slight arch. With hands on baby, you're going to slowly with soft knees hinge forward to feel the lumbar and hamstring muscles lower you and slowly lift on up. These are going to really come in handy as you start to get larger and heavier, especially through the breasts and the belly. That's perfect. Can you feel these muscles working? Yes. Good. So you can see that she has good upper body posture and she's slow and controlled. Aim to do 12 to 15 repetitions, eventually working your way up to two or three sets. That's perfect and nice and slow. Good job. So next we're going to do bent over rows. Use five to eight pound hand weights. The hardier weights are really important to maintain the strength and integrity of the lats, the muscle that's very responsible for the posture. So here's the setup. You're going to hinge at the hips with nice soft knees. Use a chair for reference and stability and from there go ahead and roll the elbow back. You want a nice long spine, soft knees, slow and controlled posture. You're going to want to do at least 15 to 20 repetitions. It's important to get that strength for the middle back. It'll come in handy when you're fighting the ever-increasing boobs, belly, and of course later on when your baby grows larger and larger in your arms. Last one. Good job. Nicely done. So our last exercise is the rotator cuff muscles. This is one of my favorite postural exercises. It's efficient and fast and you'll feel the effects right away. Our tool is an elastic band. You can find them anywhere, at a sporting goods store or even online. Get a medium resistance so you really feel the effects of the movements. So here's the setup. With your palms facing up and your shoulders down and back, you want to externally rotate the arms so that you feel the shoulder blades fall back into place where they belong. This is going to come in handy when you're strong in these postural muscles because you're going to be fighting those ever increasing larger belly and boobs which can pull your shoulders out of posture. I recommend you do at least 20 to 25 of these to really feel the effects with strength, endurance and posture. Can you feel that? I definitely can. That's excellent. So remember, it's so important to keep your back strength up, especially during the later trimesters when you're going to feel the need to slouch forward. If you're new and you're a beginner at weight training, stay around the 10 to 15 repetition. I'm going to encourage you to grow to at least 20 to 25 reps to really benefit from the strength. Please remember to always refer to your healthcare professional before you start any exercise program. <laughs>